these two ears come off, you cut off this top screw, only leaving the hole that has this screw in it right now. You take this screw out, you're able to take this device, once these ears are off and this top screw is cut out, you're able to put it right in there. See how you, it doesn't fit into this awesome cover right now? You physically have to make it go in there. You take the screws out, take the screws, you put them into this hole, and then you take a nut and you tighten it up on the back here. And that makes it secure to your awesome cover. Now, if this is attached, you can get this 1900 in uh, one that has brackets on the side. So it attached to a stud. The stud would be right here and you can screw it right to the side with a couple of screws going in this way. And if that's the case, in a new, a new construction or something, you would take an awesome cover, a raised plate, which is like this, depending on the thickness of your sheetrock, typically half inch or three quarter, which would be this size. And this is a two gang. This is where you're gonna mount the, screw, the, the devices and these screws. So typically a device is vertical. You're gonna to wanna to have these going vertical. If you have horizontal, your switches are gonna be going up and down, which for the most part you want vertical. So you want the screws up and down so that when you take the device, you can screw it right into there. Perfect. This metal, depending on the size of your sheetrock, should be right at the sheetrock wall, right where it ends. So you have that. 